it can't come from a liverpool fan because their their manager or our manager celebrates yeah. every home game and the ben white video is basically comedy i'm like yeah. dude he just he signed a contract extension man you don't have to be over the top for that we as a fan base and as a club are learning to be be a big club again what we were previously which we weren't in the past 10 15 years okay coming to celebration dude what do you mean by over celebrated dude we fuck like we haven't been <laughs> Be- That's what I'm saying. See, I, I, I was so incensed by by Liverpool fans who were or Carragher who was saying that Arsenal was over celebrating when they won against Liverpool. Like go down the tunnel, don't go into, don't do the camera thing because to the fucking won again a match against the title rivals at their yeah. home ground. And then it's it's their thing to celebrate. It's totally fine. Just let them do it. Why do you care? And especially, it can't come from a Liverpool fan because. their their manager or our manager celebrates yeah. every home game like you can't say that shit and that's where i was like completely fine i agree i totally totally am am in with arsenal and everything but the other things right like recently with with porto or uh, against or yeah, the ben white video or whatever do you arsenal again the thing is it's it's such a it's it's kind of off putting in a way again not in a bad way but you are just one goal down in the champions league round of 16 against fucking porto it's fine i mean you can even the okay, the build up to the match right like where okay come on we are all in this together one one we are in or out or all of this do or die or something and i'm like no you're fine you're just you're going to go through this you have to believe that you have to go through this and it, that is something which i feel is a bit like okay believe in yourself a bit more it's not that it's not that big of a scale you're not in a semi finals or or a finals of a match or this is not a title decider or anything it's just a round of 16 match against a portugal team uh, which has a really which is an underdog so that's one thing and the ben white video is basically comedy i'm like yeah. <laughs> dude he just he signed a contract extension man you don't have to be over the top for that it's it's kind of perform right like you, you don't have to kind of just get interviews from all the players do all these things and i'm like okay it's amusing but it's not good amusing you know what i'm saying and like why why what's the point that's okay, that's so my take fair enough fair enough i mean i, yeah. I can't disagree with what you're saying but also like on the flip side okay so when it comes to porto right i think i have to defend my club here and i mean i'm defending more than more because i i do believe uh the fact that it was so okay so think of the think of it from a psychological point of view right mm-hmm. like for us arsenal fans we are kind of i mean i started following arsenal like 19 20 years back so in my nascent years i saw invincibles like a few a fair bit here and there uh don't remember anything but just see but like don't remember anything of it don't didn't, didn't know the significance of it wasn't involved in football that much uh so obviously don't have many memories from that time and ever since then up until now it's been 20 years and we've been a banter club and rightly so i mean we've we've deserved it uh don't get me wrong right so most of the fans that you see online especially these days are young fans who are who have just lived through this era we've loved to live through technology we've lived through all the bantering and all that comes with it also the match going fans who haven't seen much of the success especially at the emirates at uh in a previous ground we did ibury but at the emirates we haven't seen much right so we as a fan base and as a club are learning to be be a big club again what we were previously which we weren't in the past 10 15 years so these moments when we haven't really qualified for big time big occasions when we have show, we haven't shown up for big occasions especially when we struggled so much i think porto was one of the kryptonite for our play style uh given how compact they were the best of the best mid blocks in the in 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 europe just the magnitude of the win especially on penalties i think that obviously is uh, emotional and it kind of like is challenging to overcome that after 14 years when everybody imagine the imagine everybody just ridiculing us if we had gone out on on penalties so it's not about that it's just like you feel those emotions and i don't mind expressing it the video on the other hand everyone exactly. the video just just one point there so so let me let me be clear i don't have any issue whatsoever how much ever alson celebrates after the fact like you yeah. even if it's porto and if it's fucking bournemouth even if it, like you celebrate yeah. rice nel rice nelson winner against bournemouth i don't mind like you just because you want something you did something go have a party right but the ones the, the the video or you know just kind of 
kind of doing doing it over the top i think that's where i'm like okay maybe maybe just kind of tone it down a bit that's all also like what about those mikel arteta like accusations about what like the porter manager said that he oh, abused his family that, that's that bullshit <laughs> don't really care about it yeah. if he said it he should have said it i mean i don't think he said it i don't think mikel arteta is one of those people who 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 does that thing i mean it has never come up firstly it has never come up against arteta ever and secondly that same manager has said the same thing about three different managers in the past so everybody should everybody won't be going after his family so <laughs> So yeah, I don't, I don't really care. I think he's just a sore loser. I think he, yeah, he should have been a little bit more classy in terms of his antics. But it doesn't matter. I mean, everybody takes their defeat their own way. Don't, don't want to criticize. Don't really care. The video, on the other hand, it was cringy. Won't lie. Uh, it was the music could have been better. The background music, except, uh, rather than being like a somber track, it could have been a, a much more peppy and like a beat track. Kind probably would have made it better. But on the other hand, do you remember last week, last year Kyle Walker? I'm not saying Kyle, Kyle Walker, uh, like Kyle Walker's contract extension last year with City. They literally recreated, recreated, enacted. Not even saying like interviews. Enacted Wolf of Wall Street with all the players, with like Mike going like you know when Jordan Belford goes and be like I'm not going any that scene. They literally recreated that scene. Again, I have no problem in doing that. That's cringe. I have no problem in doing it because all all of these things are done for fans, for your fans, not for the world. And your fans enjoy it. Like your fans love it. Uh you want to see that side of football. Nobody had a problem with that. But when it's Arsenal, everybody as Mike Arteta said say lumps in. So that is my issue. that is my issue. I mean, we are we can be a little bit over the top with our media. I totally get it. But we're also really good at it. I mean, if you look at our contract extensions announcements signings uh videos and all those things we're pretty pretty legit at uh coming up with uh, all these random stuff we probably shouldn't or probably a lot of clubs wouldn't but uh, a lot of clubs do do it too and they don't face the same wrath that we do and that's that's the bottom line like why are we being targeted by all the other fans when literally Kyle Walker did it like <laughs> he was right there last season uh, that's the only issue no Yeah, I, I I remember that now. I think I think that that actually kind of adds some good context, right? I think, yeah, when when Kyle Walker did it, and it and you can't compare anything what City does because most of the people don't care, man. Even City wins a treble, they don't care. That's the problem. They, 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 and I think that's what happens with clubs of clubs like United, Arsenal and Chelsea, uh, Arsenal and Liverpool, right? Chelsea to some extent because again they are like a, since 2004 or something but you know they don't care about Chelsea as well but these three clubs anything that happens it's it's kind of spun into yeah. something else and and I think that's that's what people love I guess but yeah 